Hey now, what's going on everybody? Here's my old van, it's dirty. Uh I had to kick someone out the group because they were just doing too much. Throwing a lot of subliminals. I had to call them out before. So I just went on to kick them out the group. It was probably about a couple of days ago. But I remember him making a post saying that people with high-end vehicles won't trust you if you don't have your van wrapped. All right. Hey, you now. It's Anthony with ANA Professional Services. And before we start this video, go ahead and join the New Wave Facebook group. The link will be in the description and in the comment section. And I just want to thank everybody who has been supporting the New Wave so far. Everybody that's joined over the last couple of weeks. I really appreciate you guys. Thanks. All right now, so we'll be doing the maintenance detail on this 2017 Bentley Bay Taker. I don't advertise maintenance details. Maintenance details are only for clients that have been with me for a period of time. So I don't disclose the price. I don't advertise the price. It is what it is. It's between me and my customer or client. Now, how I found this customer, well, really, I didn't find a customer. They found me. The secretary reached out to me about three years ago and told me what type of vehicles that her boss had. And she wanted to know if I could come out and clean the vehicles. I said, sure. Came out, start cleaning the vehicles built a relationship with them. I've been doing them ever since. I want to say about three or four years now. You know, you don't have a wrap van and, and all that. You don't have high-end stuff. You don't look the part. Well, first off, how they're going to know anything about you just by the presentation? I mean, yeah, it plays a small part. But if you do bad work, if you don't do good work at all, or if you don't seem trustworthy, are they going to call you back? All right. So I've been dealing with this customer for a while. And when I showed up, I showed up in this van about three years ago. I pulled up, spoke with the secretary. She gave me the keys to the car. She didn't even look at my equipment. She didn't even look at my van. And then the owner came outside. He didn't look at my equipment. He didn't look at my van. But what he did look at is how I took care of the vehicle, how I carefully washed the paint how I carefully wiped down the interior. He saw that and that's what he looked at. He never looked at my van being wrapped. He didn't even talk about my van. He didn't even ask about it. Didn't say anything about it. And to be honest, I'm trying to think. I've never had a customer compliment me on my van. Now, the only thing they've said is how you get all that stuff to fit in there. You know, they'll look and they'll say, oh, you got water, electricity, you got a generator. Is that a lawnmower? Is that weed eaters? How's all that fit in there? I mean, they're amazed by what I've done with the van. But other than that, I've never got a compliment on the van. Some of them don't even mention it. They only focus on their vehicle done properly. So when someone says that you need a piece of equipment or you need to have a certain type of van or certain type of wrap on your van to get a customer, you're exposing yourself. 
It's letting me know that you did not come up in this industry. It's letting me know that you was able to get your hands on a couple of dollars, maybe a loan, PPP, or a tax refund, or your old lady cashed out a 401k so you could start a business. And you just threw money at everything. That's what I'm thinking. Because a person like me, I've been doing this for over 10 years, and I started from the ground up. So when people make statements like that, I know that they didn't earn their stripes in this business. They get a couple of high-end pieces of equipment. They get a truck, they get something, you know, and they didn't work for it. They didn't have to grind for it. Like I said, they just threw money at everything. A rap van only gives perception. You gotta back that perception up. Now, a Google page, a Facebook page, with a lot of reviews from real people says a whole lot. It takes time to build trust. You can't build trust from a rap van. You can't build trust by using chemical guys. You can't build trust by the best microfibers money can buy. That doesn't build trust. You just got nice stuff. Trust is built over time with good customer services, a good attitude, doing good work, and a good recommendation from your existing customers. The way I see it is that you got no substance if you got to rely on equipment and products. No substance at all. Like I said, I started this from the ground up and I learned my way through this industry. I learned how to deal with customers better. I learned how to deal with people overall better. See, when you throw money at everything, you didn't learn anything. So that's why you get mad when you see someone like me doing something that you're say you're doing that's why you get upset because you didn't open your mouth and told everybody that you gotta have this and you gotta have that to get this but i'm doing everything that you say you're doing i'm actually doing it and you're mad it's just like father and son houston pulls up in a lincoln what's that a mkz mks pulls up hops out pops the trunk and details a two hundred thousand dollar vehicle now yeah when he pulled up they probably looked at him like, what? But once he got done with that vehicle, he gained their trust. <laughs> All right, man, I'm done. Shouts out to the new wave. Peace.